Hey everybody, welcome back to 5 Minutes with Phil. It is great to have you here. Today is Thursday, and we are still cruising through uh, this story in the book of Mark, chapter 2. And uh, I want to read some more of uh, this story to you. And uh, again, there's a lot that we're unpacking here, and um, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's uh, take some time to kind of review just real quick what's happened so far. Okay, so <clears throat> Jesus is preaching in a uh, in a house in a building, and it's standing room only. Okay, there's people. It's so packed you can't get in. Okay, while this is going on, four guys bring their friend who is paralyzed to the house to get healed by Jesus. They can't get in because of the crowd, so they climb up to the roof. They cut a hole in the roof, lower him down the ceiling right in front of Jesus. Jesus looks at him and says, son, your sins are forgiven. Okay? Now, let's take this from verse 6 and see what happened. Because there's a truth here I want you to, to be equipped with here today that I think could help a lot of us. Okay, look at, starting at verse 6. Now, some teachers of the law were sitting there thinking to themselves, why does this fellow talk like that? He's blaspheming. Who can forgive sins but God alone? Immediately, Jesus knew in his spirit that this is what they were thinking in their hearts. And he said to them, why are you thinking these things? Which is easier uh, to say to the paralytic, your sins are forgiven? Or to say, get up, take your mat and walk? But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralytic, I tell you, get up, take your mat, and go home. And it was at that moment that the man was healed. Now, uh, I don't want to focus on the miracle just yet, okay? Because we know that the answer came and he was healed, and it's really, it's great, great story. But there's an element here... <laughs> that uh, might be good for some of us to digest. And that's this. Um, it's dealing with difficult people. Um, so here's, here's Jesus preaching and he's teaching and they lower this guy in front of Jesus and Jesus says, your sins are forgiven. Now, instead of the religious people rejoicing at that or being encouraged by that um they complain and 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 what's what's interesting they were saying all this stuff in their heads that they weren't even verbalizing it so much as they were thinking it but jesus knew their thoughts even while all this was going on uh wow you know what i have learned that oftentimes when I find myself getting closer to Jesus or as the answer to my prayer is getting closer, there is oftentimes a person with a negative attitude around me that can try to steal that away from me. Uh, they can really have an impact on how I advance or how I go forward with the Lord. Um, difficult people. We, we, we have them in our lives all the time. And I just want you to be encouraged today to know that if Jesus faced it, you will too. But... Jesus knew what they were thinking. Jesus is not caught off guard by the negative people in your life. Okay? Jesus knows what's in their hearts, what's in their heads, what they're thinking, what they're saying, what they're doing. None of this is news to him. And he's prepared to deal with that. I want you to remember that God is your defender. Say that to yourself today. God is my defender defender. You don't have to defend yourself to other people. Let God be your defender and let the miracle come. 
Let the answers come. You just stay steady with the Lord. Let him be your defender. Don't let negative people keep you from the positive things that God has for you. Okay? All right. My time's up, so I better let you go. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.